take a closer look now at the auto sales numbers. Joining us to do that is Scott Painter. He's the founder and CEO of TrueCar.com. TrueCar, by the way, provides pricing information to consumers and dealers and partners with AAA, American Express, and Bank of America, among others. Scott was a finalist for the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award last year. Scott, good to have you back on Street Smart. So we're going through the numbers. We're seeing them. They feel like a disappointment. Investors certainly seem so, uh, think so because they're sending those stocks down. What do you think of today's numbers? Well, certainly the uh, the car market is doing a little bit better in general than it was last year. So it looks like you've got a little bit of an uptick with some of the American car companies. Clearly, the supply constraints are affecting the market in general. So you're seeing real dips on the Toyota and Honda side. However, the silver lining, even though the, the numbers aren't necessarily as healthy as we had hoped for July, is that the transaction prices are actually high. So. A lot of incentives have come out of the market. Clearly, uh, General Motors, Ford, and, and Chrysler are taking back a little bit of share. Mm -hmm. And I think what you're going to find is that it's going to be a great time to be a, uh, a buyer in the fall because Toyota and Hondas are going to start to hit dealer lots. You're going to have a much more supply-based market and those incentives are going to start to come back. So good for consumers, but help me out here, Scott, because as I mentioned, Ford's down almost 3% today, GM's down about 2.5%. You think investors have it wrong? Because you sound somewhat optimistic here. Well, I think we're going into a good time generally for consumers. I think car sales are going to pick up. I think that we do have a bit of pent-up demand. There's no question that the general concern about the economy, about the debt ceiling, and about what's going on in Washington has affected consumer confidence. July was a disappointment, even though it was up over last year. And I do think that you're still having a lot of lingering effects from the supply issues. Mm -hmm. There are some winners, however, in the overall story. If you look at Hyundai, Hyundai is an absolute runaway success. They're having a record month overall, over 25,000 vehicles uh, of their core product, and they're, they're absolutely just bucking the trend all the way across the board. But what do you make about Ford and GM truck sales declining uh, in July? Uh, I mean, that's an important sector for these guys. That's not a number that you want to see. Well, there's no question, and when we look at the data at TrueCar, we find that the American consumer is hyper-reactive to gasoline prices, and we've really leveled off and stabilized at about $3.70 a gallon here in the U.S., and at $4 a gallon, we make a big switch away from low mile per gallon vehicles and trucks and SUVs and into smaller vehicles in general. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Ford story a little bit deeper, though, crossover sales and high mile per gallon cars are still selling. And so I think the same is true at Chevrolet. The Cruze is absolutely a rock star for, Chev or for uh, GM. 25,000 units this month. So th there are some real positives in the, in the numbers, but I do think gasoline prices leveling off at 370 is bad news in general for uh, truck sales and SUV sales. But Scott, safe to say, trouble to hear from Don Johnson, uh, GM's vice president of U.S. sales, who said, you know, clearly the U.S. economy has lost some momentum. He says it'll maybe get better in the, in the second half, but more gradually than we originally thought. I mean, he's tempering back everybody's expectations. Should we all temper back our expectations about the U.S. auto market at this point? Well, I think the U.S. auto market has been a very good sort of um, uh, harbinger of how the economy is doing in general and how we feel about the economy. Uh, and there's no question that July was a disappointment. I think that it's probably wise to cut back in terms of those expectations. Mm -hmm. And certainly Ford, for example, has a, uh, you know, an expectation around how big the car market's going to be for 2011 that I think is a little too optimistic. I think we see it sort of hovering around 12 million or a little bit lower. And again, we're just very, very granular in, in terms of how we look at those numbers. And I think that if we look at what's likely to happen over the next four or five months, I do think volume will come back. Okay. I think that the incentives will be there because the supply on the Toyota and Honda side is really going to change the dynamic in the marketplace. Right, but then we've got to remember those incentives change the uh, margin picture a little bit. Hey, Scott, we got to run. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Scott Great. Painter, uh, he's the CEO of TrueCar.com.